So here we have question number 11 from January 2017, IAL. Um, this is 11 part 2. Uh, 11 part 1, uh, I made the video for it now. Um, just a little point. What I did was, um, I f when I finished the video, I, for some reason, wrote down 2.28 twice. Okay, I should have wrote down the, the last solution, which was 5.43. Okay, so that was missing in my last video. I put it in the notes for the video, but um, just for you, if you're watching this video straight after 11 part one, 11 part one should say 5.43 as the last solution, which I got up there, I just wrote it down for some reason incorrectly. So you must watch out for those kind of copy errors. Now, 11 part two, we've got to solve this equation for uh, zero and um, the angle between zero and 360. So we must make sure our calculator is in degree mode. Okay, it was in radio mode for part one, it must be in degree mode for part two. Okay, now, to solve this equation, when you've got sine and cosine together like this, <clears throat> one of the things we can use is the fact that the tan of an angle is the same as the sine of that same angle divided by the cosine of that same angle. As long as those angles are the same, okay, the tan of that angle is the sine of is equal to the sine of that angle divided by the cosine of the angle. So if I want to try to make this into one ratio, I can spot that if I divide both sides by cosine of this angle, this side will become one, and this side will become five tan of that angle. I've only got one ratio, so I can continue. So let's just do that. Let's divide everything by cosine theta plus 10. So you have five times sine of the angle theta plus 10 divide by cosine theta plus 10 is equal to the cosine of theta plus 10 divided by itself cosine of theta something like that cosine of theta plus it's supposed to be a bracket. Okay, so now 5 sine of an angle divided by cosine of an angle becomes 5 tan of that same angle. So the 5, five tan of theta plus 10 is equal to 1. Something divided by itself is always going to be 1. So now I'm going to have the tangent of theta plus 10 is equal to 1 fifth and now I can solve this equation okay I can say theta plus 10 will give me inverse tan of 1 fifth okay I have to make sure I'm careful about catching all the solutions now they asked us for the solutions between 0 and 360. So they want us to solve it between 0 is less than, make sure we got equal, yes, less than or equal to theta, which is less than 360. What I need to do is modify this so it looks like a compound angle in here. So it's like theta plus 10. So that must become 360 plus 10, which is 370. And this must become 0 plus 10, which is 10. Okay, so my, my solutions must lie in this range. So now let's find what the inverse tan of 1 fifth is. Out tan 1 fifth. So we take our calculator and we make sure that it's in degree mode. And we press inverse tan and we put one fifth in there. And it gives us 11.3099. 11.3099 degrees. And with the tangent curve, it just repeats every 180 degrees. Okay, so you find the main solution, and every other solution will be either 180 more than that, or 180 less than that, okay, going up in 180s. So if we go 180 less than 11.3, well, we're going to be outside of our solution. This is just about inside our range. Okay, 
Now we're going to go 180 more than that. That's going to be inside our range, isn't it? 180 plus 11 is 191.3099. Okay, 180 plus 11.3099. And then um, if we go 180 more than that, let's see what happens. So we're going to, pl we're going to add 180 plus 180, so that's adding 360. That gives us 371.30. It's just outside of our range. We have to go up to 370. So that's just outside of the range. So these are the only two solutions within our range. And of course, we've got to find theta. So we've got to take away 10 from each of these. So this becomes 11.3099 minus 10, which is 1.3. Now it tells us to find it to one decimal place. OK, so we stop there, 1.3 degrees. And this gives you 191.3 degrees. Uh, sorry. Not 191. We've got to take away 10, isn't it? Theta equals 191.3099, which gives you 181.3099, which is 181.3 degrees. 181. Be very careful about mistakes like that. That's 181.3 degrees, and those are our two solutions to this problem. Thank you for watching.